why we are give thanks for life, see me, you know? Serious thing, we're here again, Ballhead and the Dread Podcast. If you get free time, make sure you check out the musical mastery of the one R. Tarchi. Link is in the description. Also, if you're interested in purchasing some cultural apparel from Conscious T, link is in the bio description, that is, also. All right? Fire, what are you dealing with, y'all? What have you been missing lately? Yeah, what they are meds, eh? Really and truly. Is a real injustice I go on with check it when it comes to even capitalism again. I would talk about it most times and most people always say, well, I'm not capitalism are the problem. Them always a find a way out or excuse for, for, for capitalism. No, have no blood upon them hands, but I really sit down and take, think about it for you. Are the same supposed capitalistic structure where them put in place where cause the insecurity of the people them really make the company them a profit. You see me, I say, so the company they were secure for them, for them one in a base off of the people of insecurity. And that really I take place right now in a modern time. Reality fine. It's a vicious cycle where, you know, first of all, you have to trade, you have to trade your labor for any source of income, right? But when you do that now, there's so many different layers within society, so many different uh status levels to meet that uh the people within the society are extremely insecure and as you stated before the greatest strategy of companies to secure their profits is to keep the masses insecure and it's done through so many ways and it's done so subtle that most people don't understand why they feel the need to try to get some form of fulfillment to try to get some form of self-worth. Because really trying to buy self-worth at the end of the day. If a you think about it. To, you know? A two-way a two way take place, you know, because when you think about it, you know, you now people might not look on the aspect of working for a corporation as, as being insecure, you know. But I want to let's say it's so similar to the consumerism side of it, which the consumerism side of it are the main part of where where people are buying things to validate themselves or else they're going to feel insecure. So the companies they're making the profit now, make them feel like them is somebody. But then you have a next side that now where a corporation, people working inside a corporation, majority of the people them have to be insecure for continue working, you know, because when you do something for so much years, do the same thing over and over again where everybody don't train for them. And then you feel like if you even fall out a line or you don't carry out for them tasks the way all them want it to be every single time, then you feel like you're going left without a job. That is insecurity. And if you have you have to use insecurity to provide for your family, guess what going on now? It's going to be a trickle-down situation where you're going to have a culture of insecurity coming up. Because remember, say, yeah, I raise young ones, you know. But yeah, I raise them depending on all of these paychecks that come from this company through your insecurity. So think about it for you. The I hear that continue. fire, but I've been meds in this whole, um, what do you want to call, self-sufficiency entrepreneur. And maybe in generations past, but in our generation, I don't think the average person could be totally dependent on themselves because one, there's a high level of uh, task averse amongst people like they're, they're scared of uh, things that they don't know about. Um, people can't deal with, uh, I don't want to use the term failure, but people struggle with things not working out in their favor. Um, they don't have a high level of discipline. And cause I've been meds in this, man. I've been meds in it because a lot you hear about this entrepreneur thing all the time now, right? And as an entrepreneur, I just feel most people don't have, they can probably build up the skills, but they, the skill set that they have is more in line with being an employee instead of an employer. Yeah, we have to ask yourself why, you know, because I remember saying, you know, it's a particular reason that, you know, because the average person is an employee to a company. Is either them go to secondary institution or them go to a tertiary institution where fulfill the needs of the company. The company one, where you check it, what is that need? That need is simply for you to get indoctrinated from a certain level. So with, with the indoctrination, the or you feel like the average person even can can get out of the realm for, for, for even not be a task averse because we check it out, you know. Once only limited to that, you know. Thing what them learn is for that and I'm not I'm not not nobody where I work work for a nine to five because you have to start from somewhere you have to always have a structure in place where 
you, you, you be the person where I work for your man, then you can rise up yourself and be the man also. But I show the people them say you can't do it from the fear aspect. And the reason why you do it from the fear aspect is because the way all the system said it tells us you're supposed to be dependent on a job. Because I mean, I feel like say, the average person, if they want to be fully secured and don't have a no sense of insecurity, can only work for a corporation. If you even work for a corporation, you can have a little thing on the side or build up a thing because check levels for you. All right. Suppose for them, fire. check, 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 nah, nah, work today. Check, check thing, nah, work today. You can't get paid. What you feel like a gum? All like right, so, so here go the thing now. The insert insecurity you're speaking about doesn't start with employment. It actually starts at a younger age, uh, both in the house and in the school system. I remember what, when I was in college, right? The conversation was always, where would you work? No one ever spoke about having your own thing. But then look who where it was coming from. It was coming from those who <laughs> you pretty had the same mindset. Now, when I was working in an environment where people were uh, self-employed entrepreneurs and employing other people, I noticed they didn't have as much what you would call formal education as what's praised in society. And I feel it's the education that indoctrinates you and grooms you to believe that uh, the highest form of, I guess, uh, I don't know, of attaining money or this and that within that structure is working for another, is giving your talents. Uh, towards some to the highest bidder you would say you know so i feel the school because all right you have schools that pass kids without working that creates a big problem you get what i'm saying and you're getting these accolades for not performing you know and it's a laziness vibe we have to acknowledge where people because even with their job you've worked somewhere and you've seen people can't do their basic job they do the bare minimum on their job because they're bare minimum people Everything is the bare minimum. Everything is the least I can do to, to get by within this thing. You know, and that's the majority of people, but society sets it up that way because fast food, do you know right now you can sit on your couch? Listen to how screwed up we are right now. <laughs> Listen to this. You remember before you had to go like to the, to the either go to the movie theater, go to like Blockbuster or something to physically pick up a movie. You can sit on your couch right now, right? And have access to over a thousand movies order food so all you gotta do is roll out of your couch and get to your door somehow and get the food and sit there and eat you don't gotta go to no store again you know you can order all your clothes online so society is creating this this zombie vibe that's getting even worse so it's a as i said it's a bare minimum society we're in right now yeah i, I really just on there talk to see me we even check it let's imagine doing the minimum yet still you have a sense of fear you have a sense of fear, you know. So you know that make it the old, the lowest being on earth you can ever be. Because when you think about it in a fire, think both because we still up on the corporate aspect, we create insecurity. You, know? you go up on a job, you have to do the beer minimum too. Plus, you fear your boss, you know, and your boss fear fiend boss, and fiend boss fear fiend boss. Cause a fear structure, you know, cause everybody, no matter which part you're in the chain of command, you know, you have military fear structure, now, boy, fire, military. Boy, have your feet really actually take place and you know? just imagine a military structure with their own computer you know dangerous that is that even dangerous than the actual literal military itself because the military itself when you see them them come with a president so can come kill you directly or you know so them them instill a certain order and you see them this now is a mental thing so imagine you know everybody they on a corporation and they over so watch this you have to walk around a laptop all the time you ever see a prisoner without a chain hold on fire you have so, to hold on two <laughs> sec though you made a good point where it is the same structure where the military will kill you directly they kill you indirectly because they'll cut off your income so it's the same concept but a different type of death you know you want your life right i could take that and you want your life source which is your income so say something silly i don't work as hard as i think you should be working or don't fall in the line we just get somebody else because the way society said in capitalism society there's always that need for employment to keep those in that are employed in pressure and they always know at the end of the day you are disposable and replaceable so that's the modification of the behavior right there the system it's not the boss remember i want to clarify people aren't scared of the boss because the boss himself don't have power especially if it's like the outright owner but even with the own owner you have shareholders so it get tricky in that sense but in regards to the managers and all that 
people aren't scared of them. They're scared of the the uh, loss of income. So it's not respect a manager. It's respect of my income. And I don't want to lose it. All right. You know, I you know so they, they said they, 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 them fear of them, the loss of income. But you want, you want, you get more creepy and more scary, you know. All right, watch this. A man work for a corporation. I'm afraid for losing job because if you lose him job, no, you know, I must say, nah, no, for survive off, you know. But I must the same fear loss of income, then guess how who make him a lose him, lose the same income when fear, you know, in the first place. The, the same corporation. corporation I because, won't go back. Hold on, fire. And I, I apologize because, for cutting you, right? But listen <laughs> yeah. to this. All right. You remember when we were talking about bare minimum people? Right? Yeah. But they want maximum lifestyle. But the idea of the maximum lifestyle, that's where the corporation come into play in regards to the marketing. I want to be somebody. I don't want to put in no work because in reality, I'm bare minimum fire. The least somebody I could do, right? But when it comes to present myself to others now, I have to utilize what they told me so it's a standard so I look a certain way. Uh, then I'm tell you, I tell you, I say, that make it even scarier because when you think about it in a fire, a man's free to lose them thing from inside, you know, but yet still the same money where him earn from them where him in fear so him lose, you know. Him go use it back on a corporate thing because I remember the company where I provide him with film, film goods where him a buy, 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 buy with this biology concept where we in and now. Him goods him a buy come from a corporation we still have fear from inside it where the person who would have created film thing so they didn't fear losing for them job. So you see how oh, every single thing interconnected because the nice shirt where I wear with with a big brand name on it and the nice shoes him with a big brand name on it. A fear, fear make it create to you know. And what he means still in fear. A fear, right. fear money him use and buy it, you know. So Just to show on. you, you know. Check so out the in- insecurity work in the fear. Your fear of losing your line of credit. <laughs> I don't use line of credit, but your income. You're afraid of losing your income. You've created this false persona that you're terrified of you. But for all these things, and I want to tell you, you see this house thing? This house thing is a tricky thing because more than for most people it's not necessarily a beneficial financial tune depending on what part of the country you live in right if you get a house it's just somewhere you want to live now if you invested in it and you're renting it out it's totally different but as a residence it's, it's tricky depending on where you live but the house is such a uh uh a image of prestige and people would get 10 heart attacks <laughs> before they lose their house because once you have the house now, you want to come over, come over. I, I used to just analyze that when I was young and I started learning stuff. Come over my house. I'm like, I no deed. And all this car and all this and all this. But it's like society tells you, you have to have these things to identify as success. And we'll give it to you. And even if you can't afford it, we have credit packages to provide for you to make sure you can have it. But you need Start these things. Mm-hmm. You need these things to be identified as success. So you're constantly feeding the people these, these these ideas. So by time, even at a young age, because young kids now up to, I think, ages uh, maybe three, four, or five can identify a particular brand at such a young age, which is extremely dangerous. But as you get older, that insecurity builds and it's easier to manipulate you to spend your money to have these things that's going to provide you with the quote unquote standard standard fire that society has set for mankind and that's really the issue and that's the issue with most people finances but most people and the finance thing so wicked people don't even want to look at their finances because they just want it real if you ever talk to somebody about their finance like man i don't even look bro because no nah, man man no man, 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 man look at the next week or the discussion they can't go on car we think you really think about it you know because we know we know we know see how some people who who short sighted not them reasoning so here we're going it's not like I want to tell you, say, you can't go look for get a seek for get a house. No, because it, 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 We're well, not no, saying it, that. It pra- not at all. It's practically impossible for you to get a house cash when you think about it. Because mortgage is going to be the regular realms. And the way how you earn and the way how, how society is set up. But once I try to show you the bigger picture, I show you, say, watch this. The system, every single thing we attributed to success, see, it only benefits the system. Because a man go get a house, him we check it out now the loan or the loan company, the mortgage company, and the person who will benefit off of the loan where you owe them. You know? So if you, if you think about it in you know, a year, success of owning a home at the mortgage company benefit. So anything where you do systematically, this is a company, company, you know, benefit off of that meaning, say, 
a them always have a secure for them own and you know what dwindle down. So what you must do in your mindset now, even if you have a child there out there, have the mindset so yo, you know, say me ready, be aware of these things because if you're not aware of these things, then you're going to get caught up and caught up. You can't look on the status side of it, you know. You have to look on the security side of it. So and I want, even, uh, mm-hmm. I want to just clarify something for the people off what you just said. If you're getting a house, you're getting a house you can afford. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You're not getting a house because they have 10 rooms, because the backyard is sweet, because they have pool, because all those ideas have nothing to do with the house. It has to do with people's perception of you in the house. So we need to move away from the perception and deal with what's beneficial for us economically and dealing with what we need. You know, if you have two kids, I guess you need three bedrooms and you can ease off there. And what you can afford, we need to get back to the affordability of things. What's the term to use? I think they call it conspicuous consumption, not buying things for uh, its purpose uh, of its use, but what it represents. And we really need to, if you get back to purchasing things and using things for its use via one, you can start to kill the insecurity within yourself. And also you could give health to your finances because you're not burning out your cash on foolishness, you know, because the more insecure you are, the more security companies have because they always can sell you something because you need it for your fulfillment, for your self-worth. And it don't last. That's why you got to go buy it again. Hey, let me tell you, <laughs> right, yo, you know, our reason we're thinking about financial literacy, right? So I'd be like, yo, how many people got like, you know, a certain amount of sneakers, right? They'd be like, oh, I was like, you know, when the last time you got sneakers? Last week. So they just said they got 10, 12 pairs. These kids without jobs, right? These teenagers, they got 10, 12 pairs of sneakers and maybe eight of them are like brand spanking new. Who gave you that idea? Where did that idea come from that you need so many sneakers? And what is it trying to represent or what are you trying to portray? And who is it beneficial? Is it beneficial to you or is it beneficial to you still feel insecure because you still feel the need to have to get another sneaker. Yet you have 12 sneakers, pairs of sneakers. You only have one pair of feet and you're not even wearing them. Do you know the average person only wears about two pair of jeans consistently? And I'm a living testament to that fire. Reality. A reality at that, man. Because when you really sit down and check it still in the fire, it's a, it's a sad, sad thing because me, I watch me up on Instagram and I see this sick video you know, and I see a man, a selector, and a man I say, I'm so time out. Say, all right, I must look for my thing, they may wear. I say, look for my shirt, look for my shoes. I say, I'm a step up in her life, man. Say, I look, I don't look poor again. I say, wait. I must say, the crowd real. I say, I say, them things, them the people, them are real for fire. Because if a man, I tell her, say, him shirt and him shoes, that doesn't mean, say, I'm going to spend more. But I don't see how it, 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 it equal, equate to him or earn more. All right. Because but... the clothes you wear can't tell her, say, I earn more. She will say, just I spend more. So I don't no, know how fire. them put that as an equivalent. All right. No, that's rational thinking. And that's not the, that's not the mind of the consumer. The consumer in their mind, listen, as backwards as it sounds, but this is really the psychology and one's listening probably going to laugh too if it if it don't sting them too tough to where they get angry and cut off the podcast, right? Check this. In their minds, the more you spend, the wealthier you are. And that's a poor man's psychology fight. The more that's you spend... That's why I'm people answer about uh, spending power. Oh, we, we're spending on, spending on the power. We're checking that uh, earning right. the power. So it's not like, you know, you have money there and it's turning over and it's investing and it's growing. But a person, because listen to the psychology portrayal, the man said, I don't look, whatever he said, right? I don't look, perception versus reality. Goes back to Mr. Uh, what we call him? <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, uh, not minimum wage, Mr. Uh, anyway, the person that does the, the, the minimal aspect of life. Um, but they want the most. People are worried about like, all right, then I bought a bottle of champagne and I have on these expensive shoes. No income is coming back. And the sad part is a lot of these people, they're on um, fixed income. Meaning that regardless of what they do, I don't care how long they work, right? That's all they get. And that's what people don't understand their position in society and their position in this game. It's not, I'm not knocking a man that can afford these things, you know, go do your thing, whatever you're doing. Hopefully you invest in something, have something tucked away. But we're talking about people that, you know, um, just have a nine to five job. And I there's use no, the product them for validate themselves. Uh, there's no other source of income and they find themselves. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is sad though. 
they find themselves on this weed, uh, uh, this wheel of uh, work and spend, work and spend. I get my check, my check is gone. But they're not dealing with the internal conflict they have. Instead of dealing with that, they just worried about their perception to others. Now, my thing is this when I pre this, right? How two people that work the same job, they get the same income trying to compete and hype up on each other. <laughs> and it happens all the time. If you think about it, right? And I'm not saying they work and as you said, they work and they have another source of income. But it's like, bro, y'all both work here. You both make 50 grand, right? It's not like anything else is coming in. So I'm not talking about people that have other stuff coming in. So how y'all try to hype up on each other and y'all work at the same place and get the same income? Status, man. Uh, it's, a, it's all about status too, you know, Kai. Are you so time really sit down and check it? Me always, me always equate the ones like them as like, Use the relationship between a consumer and, 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 and the person who sells the product now as a, a, a crackhead and a crack dealer. See? As some of them, you know, but it's like, them are the crackhead now as the consumer and a boss. So, yo, me have crack in my hand and we crack do to you. If you think about it, crack now have no good at do to you because when you go, when you go use crack, you feel like you have a young girl go bring yourself on a lower, lower, lower level and guess what I go on? Guess what happened tomorrow now? You have to come find and go out of place now. If you go run up and down, if you go teeth all do things now and something, if you go visit the crack dealer again. So, a same relationship, same, right? same no concept, different. Right? Any concept. man we're addicted towards, our woman we're addicted towards buying, seeing, without even thinking about earning. Price really addiction. At the same yeah. crack relationship. Hey, you know, for some people, you know how some people like they'll eat a slice of cake or they eat ice cream at night. Some people just buy to soothe their pain, you know? And the credit card, the wickedest thing, because you can charge something on your credit card for $200. That's on sale. Say something on five. Say something's $500. I love this all the time when people say this. Something's $500, right? You got it on sale for $200. But you only have $30 in your bank account, so it's just on the credit card, right? You know, after you make that minimum payment, that $200 could be anywhere from $600 to $1,000. So that item you bought on sale for two hundred, right? Making the minimum payments, you end up obviously paying six hundred to a thousand dollars for whatever you thought you got on sale. But people don't pre this psychology. You feel terrible, about, terrible about yourself, and it's like you know, I just want some type of name brand sneaker to be accepted by society or to look normal, because you know brand names come with normality. You're not normal if you don't have certain brand names. Wow, just... wham to your man in a whole heap of time people tell me that, man. So wait, we ask the man, I forget all two of them shoes. I mean, so wait, fire, but my shoe's comfortable. You know, for, for <laughs> I want to tell you something, yeah. You know how much people, you know I'm a droid man, right? I have an Android, I have a Samsung phone, right? You know how much people criticize me about a Samsung phone? And I just feel as an adult, that really shouldn't be a conversation. That just shows like your level, like, I don't, I don't discuss those type of things because it's a pointless thing to me it has nothing to do with anything but that's at the top of the mind of a lot of people you know and it's what? just the, because there's but there's no substance in the mind the mind is empty and trying to find any form of self-worth or trying to up themselves because at, 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 the, end of, at the end of the day it's just trying to up your brethren and that's the next sick part of the game you're trying to up the brethren with, with something that someone gave you that said you can up your brethren you're cool now because you have the ear pods you're cool now because you have the uh, iPhone. You're cool now because you have this sneaker or this brand of the screen. But you're still empty inside, fighting, still insecure as a human being, and don't have no confidence and no self worth. Right. And <clears throat> it's so backwards, fire. Watch TV shows, but cut, check it. Who gonna hear this? Because let me tell you, when people get all defensive, you know it touch them. Those with the most stuff that's always up to date is the most insecure, in my experience. You may have an exception, right? But those that got the latest stuff and always have to have the expensive name brand stuff are the most insecure people you could be around. Unbalanced. Because if you were balanced, you wouldn't need it. Can't no man look me in the eye and say, you like this particular thing so much. You like what it represents. No, nah, man, it's not a representational thing beside us to make us put it up in our status, a fake, a pseudo status. Because when you think about it, that that status. Work, we, we, we are reasonable security and insecurity. And it's so, it's so funny that they mentioned Android and, and iPhone because the average person will talk about that. Me and you can hold a conversation there and it's and it totally far off. I can tell you, you know, if you have Android, 
and they can be so mature and so reasonable because why? We know about the operating system. The average person do not know about the operating system. Them use it just for status. And that are the thing for you. The one them keep on and use and have choose size, side and be partisan in a them perspective without the actual grown knowledge what them supposed to have. And it cause them to become less and less and less secure. And this is the insecurity span. Because how the hell am I going to compare something with him hey, no, and no, expo? <laughs> Uh, hey, fire one time. Hey, I don't want to stretch out the argument, but I got to say one thing. I remember one time I was among some people talking. They were talking about cars. And them times, you know, I used to burn herb and enough reading. So, you know, the mouth was just running. So I was breaking down about the car. The man got so irate, you know, because it touched him. Because it's truth. Why people get so angry with the truth? Why can't we accept the truth and say, yo, it's something I really need to build on? Give thanks, fire, for, for bringing that out and let me know. Why one can't say that? Why I can't say I touch you? Give thanks for telling me that. No, Fai, you don't tell me. But hold on. But hold on, Fai. You don't tell me if I'm doing foolishness and be like, Junior, yeah, that's not a good look. Or look at something different. I don't call and tell you, say, yo, Fai, not a good look. Yo, look something different. A uh, uh, boom, boom. We can't, why, why we can't have these adult conversations? Reality, man. You know, but... No, it is what it is. But everyone listening, please, there's a book called Biology. You remember who, who wrote it? Martin Lindstrom. Uh, biology. Check out that book because what it does, it really breaks down the psychology of uh, the psychological science that is corporations are using to make sure that you leave that dollar on the counter. And also one have to look into themselves and find some security within yourself because it hasn't been working. You've been trying it. Let's be realistic. You've been, trying, you've been trying it most of your life, right? You've been trying to buy your way to happiness, buy your way to peace. It just doesn't work. It, it doesn't correlate with the life science, you know? So what you need to do is look within yourself and try to build up yourself and and kind of, you got to kill your ego in a sense. And I think I think an easy tactic one could use is wearing stuff you're embarrassed to use. Wearing stuff you're usually embarrassed to wear. Do that for like a week or two to see that you're still there and life still goes on. You know, you have to purposely, strategically do things that you're uncomfortable doing in a sense, semi-embarrassing yourself to, to, to kind of get away from that stronghold of insecurity that's forcing you to technically be something that you're not. You're, you're, you're trying to be a manufactured thing that's not bringing you any fulfillment. You know, we want to live healthy lives where we're balanced and we have proper health, physical health, mental health, and spiritual health. And one of the keys to that is restructuring what we do to bring happiness and buying 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 is is not going to help you exactly for you but and do see the ones i get it in the book as time progress here my ones realize that them the upon one end of the spectrum and them never got up on the other and other end so in the long run the manga see it is just one admit and admit it and we don't so big time so we give thanks <laughs> for the reason from those times give thanks for everyone listening to boy it and the dread well let me hear you say mountain mountain